good morning here uh, this is the next topic to momentum correction factor name of the topic is uh, title of the topic is kinetic energy correction factor okay in the last video you can watch that uh, momentum correction factor for flow of viscous fluid through a pipe of circular cross section was found to be uh, 4 by 3 how that was calculated momentum per second based on actual velocity divided by momentum per second based on average velocity so that way momentum correction factor was calculated here in this video you are going to calculate kinetic energy correction factor and the definition remains the same here ratio is taken ratio of kinetic energy per second based on actual velocity divided by kinetic energy per second based on average velocity here also the calculation is so simple but it is somewhat lengthy okay so let's start the calculation so i'm not going to draw the circular pipe okay here also there was one circular pipe and uh, an elementary ring was taken for the calculation elementary ring okay what was the area of the elementary ring it was 2 pi r dr smaller d smaller okay 2 pi r dr where r was the radius and dr was the width of the ring element okay so elementary area was 2 pi r dr right so since we are going to calculate kinetic energy and you know the definition of kinetic energy mathematical definition is half mv square that means formula of kinetic energy is half mv square means half into mass into square of the velocity here what is the mass here, here mass is you know that q that is the distance that is volume flow rate therefore to get the mass you have to multiply that volume flow rate with uh, by uh, density right if you multiply density and volume flow rate you will get mass flow rate so for elementary area what is the discharge it is dq right for elementary area discharge is dq and dq is how much it is area into velocity and area is how much so dq can be written as u into da da is the elementary area u is the actual velocity okay and actual velocity can be obtained uh, can be written by using this formula u is equal to this much okay so and da is how much da is equal to 2 uh, 2 pi r dr right so this is dq then what is mass this is dq means volume per unit time therefore mass that will be rho dq right so this that will be equal to this multiplied by rho so rho u into 2 pi r dr this is rho dq this is what this is mass per unit time then kinetic energy i am writing this way kinetic energy per second of the flowing fluid based on actual velocity that is equal to how much that is equal to half mv square that is half rho dq into u square am i right yes i am right so half rho dq means this much so rho into u into 2 pi r dr multiplied by what u square so you are getting what u cube u into u square that is u cube so these two and these two are cancelled so what we are getting is pi rho this pi this rho then uh, r and u cube into dr right this is kinetic energy per second right then what is the this is kinetic energy per second of the flowing fluid flowing through the ring element okay ring element so for the entire cross section what you need to do is to integrate this expression and value of r will vary from 0 to capital r where r is the radius of the pipe okay therefore kinetic energy this is for element okay i am writing in bracket 
This is for element, means elemental area. Okay. So, what is the kinetic energy? For the entire cross section, that will be equal to integration of this. So, integration 0 to capital R pi rho r u cube into dr. Okay. Now, you just put the expression for u in terms of r. Means this much. Okay. So, uh, I am writing here 0 to r and this pi and rho that can be taken outside the integral sign because they, those are constants and this r is there and express more e is this much 1 by 4 mu okay 1 by 4 mu minus del p del x minus del p del x then square uh, this r square minus r square appears here and square, uh, cube of this okay cube of this is there so you can see that calculation is so easy just you have to expand this first then integrate okay uh, so what will be the next line next line will be next line that will be what next line will be this 1 by 4 mu, this del b del s, those are constants, okay? So, those things can be written outside the integral sign. So, pi rho into 1 by 4 mu into 1 by 4 mu into minus del p del x, okay? This 1 by 4 mu, cube is there. So, put here 3, put here also 3, okay? Then... Uh, integration 0 to capital R and if you expand what you will get R to the power 6 a cube minus 3 a square b 3 a square b this is 4 not 2 okay R to the power 4 not 2 3 a square b this is b plus 3 a b square 3 a b square minus b cube minus b cube Okay, dr. This is just the expansion. Okay, and uh, so what you are getting? Uh, pi rho 64 mu cube minus del p del x whole cube. And on integration, what you are getting here? Here you will get r to the power 6 r minus 3 r to the power 4 here r cube by 3 right plus 3 r square r to the power 5 by 5 minus r to the power 7 by 7 okay and limit is 0 to r just after putting the limits what you will get is pi rho by 64 mu cube minus del p del x whole cube then here you will get r to the power 7 okay these three and these three are cancelled so here you will get again r to the power 7 okay then here what you are, you are getting here you are getting 3 by 5 and r to the power sorry sorry okay, once again I have committed the same mistake that R was missing here. This R should be multiplied here. Okay. Without that R, calculation becomes totally wrong. Again, I have missed this small R here. It's a big mistake. Okay. It's a big mistake. Sorry. So after the expansion, what you are getting? You expand r to the power 6 and multiply it by this r. So r to the power 6 into r. Here 3a square b. Uh, a cube minus 3a square b. So minus 3, right? A square means r to the power 4. And b means 
R square again R is there so R cube okay then plus 3AB square so 3 capital R square 3AB square means R to the power 4 so R to the power 5 if you multiply by this R and then R to the power 6 so minus R to the power 7 okay so on integration what you are getting here is here R square by 2 so r to the power 6 into r square by 2 minus 3 r to the power 4 and here r to the power 4 by 4 right here you will get 3 r square and r to the power 6 by 6 and here r to the power 8 by 8 so these things you will get here and after putting the limits what you will get is here you will get r to the power 8 will be uh, present everywhere so here 3 by 4 and here 3 by 6 that is half and here 1 by 8 okay and r to the power 8 right now this lowermost portion is not required so uh, what will be the result here the result is uh, let me make the rough calculation 8 2 4 4 2 6 and then 2 4 4 and then 8 so minus 1 so 4 plus 4 8 and 6 1 7 so 1 by 8 so what you are getting here is pi rho by 64 mu cube minus del p del x whole cube Okay, into r to the power 8 by 8. This result we have got based on actual velocity. This is kinetic energy per second based on actual velocity. So this is the result. Okay, so let me copy that result. Okay, I am copying that result here. 64 mu cube minus del p del x whole cube into r to the power 8 by 8. Okay, and now we can erase this portion and now we are going to calculate kinetic energy per second of the flowing fluid based on average velocity, right? Based on average velocity. Kinetic energy of the flowing fluid based on average velocity. So here also the formula will remain the same, half into mass into velocity square. So kinetic energy for the entire cross section okay this is not for the uh, ring element this is for the entire cross section kinetic energy per second this is equal to half into mv square so what will be there half this rho cube into u bar square right half into rho cube rho cube is what mass per unit time okay so half mass into velocity square kinetic energy per unit time is there so it is kinetic energy per unit time that is kinetic energy per second so this is equal to what half into rho and q is how much it is area into q is area into velocity right area area is how much that is equal to pi into capital r square cross-sectional area of the pi okay so pi r square into velocity means u bar u bar is what it is the average velocity u bar is the average velocity u bar multiplied by u bar square right so this is half rho pi r square and u bar cube is there okay so u bar cube u bar is this much so i am directly putting the expression for u bar 1 by 8 mu minus del p del x minus del p del x and r square is there okay so cube of this u bar into u bar square is equal to u cube u bar cube same thing i have written here so what is the result here what is the result result is uh, 8 into 8 that is 64 so 64 into 8 60 uh, sorry 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 you write this way 1 by 
this 2 is there, not 1, you write this rho pi, this r square, okay, and here 2 into 64 into 8, this way you can write, and here you write minus del p del x whole cube, and r to the power 6, and here r square, so this becomes r to the power 8, okay. So this is the result we have got. This is what? This is kinetic energy per second based on average velocity. Okay, now we have to check the ratio. Ratio of what? This actual by this average. Right? So what is the ratio? A ratio is this divided by this. So I am doing the same thing. Pi rho by 64 mu cube. Mu is vanished from here. Why? This mu is there. Not vanished. I have forgotten to write. Okay. This mu q. Mu q is there. So this is mu q. So 64 pi rho 64 mu q minus del p del x whole cube r to the power 8 by 8 divided by, this is divided by, okay, this is divided by this, pi rho r to the power 8 divided by 2 into 64 into 8 mu cube minus del p del x whole cube, plus whole cube, right. So you can see that this pi rho, pi rho are cancelled, r to the power 8, r to the power 8 cancelled, minus del p del x whole cube, minus del p del x whole cube, all these things are cancelled, mu cube, mu cube, all are cancelled. What is the remaining thing? Only the numerical values. Okay. And what are the numerical values? Uh, that will be equal to 2 into 64 into 8 divided by this. Again, I have committed one mistake, I think. Uh, what I have written? 2 into 64 into 8 means this one. That will appear in the numerator and in the denominator. Uh, in the denominator, what will be there? 64 into 8. This 64 into this 8. Okay. So, what is the result? Two. This is written as 2.0. Okay. So ratio is what? It is 2. Okay. Sorry for the mistakes committed by me every now and then. Okay. Anyway, uh, this is the end of this video. This is the ratio of kinetic energy per second based on actual velocity and kinetic energy per second based on uh, average velocity. For which case? The case is laminar flow of viscous fluid through a pipe of circular cross section. For that case, this is the ratio, not for all the cases. Okay, these ratios will be different for different cases. So, this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video, and uh, I wish you all a very nice day.